Hey y'all, it's me, Cinnamon, and back with another video. You may have known recently that the Clyde update has happened in Wild Horse Island, which I very much love, but at the same time, not so much. Also, like, fun enough, I joined a server to do my intro, and there's the eclipse. So I'm trying now, I'm trying to find where the moon is, because I feel like it's always really cool whenever there was, like, a special moon and you get to Aurora. So the eclipse was today, which was really cool. And I'm probably gonna put that on Cookie. Meet Cookie, the Clyde Steel I overpaid for. <laughs> oh my gosh. It is insane. I just want to make sure that this is recording right now, because if it's not recording, this is, oh my god, that'd be terrible if this wasn't recording. Anyways, the comment about overpaying for the Clyde, yes, Clyde sales are going for crazy right now because everyone's trying to get a V2 so they can start breathing them like crazy again. Just like me, who's going to spend $20 today to breathe this like crazy. So Cookie is going to start the legacy of new Clyde sales in my inventory. And of course, it's not going to be just Cookie. Like Any Clyde sales I find or buy or trade for, they are going to also add to it. But all the Clyde sales in the beginning are all going to come from Cookie. Also, so much for saving. Yeah, I was trying to save in the game, but as you can see by my 56 tokens, that did not work out so well. Of course, there had to be a new update drop when I was like, oh, I'm gonna save my tokens now. Oh my goodness. So let's head over to mainland so we can start breeding Cookie like crazy. But overall, I kind of really like Cookie's coat. I feel like it looks really cute, but at the same time, I miss the old Clydesdale body. I miss our chunky potatoes because I did this the other day when I was comparing the new Clydesdale's body to the older one. In the older one's Clydesdale body, like it literally overlaps the new one. They've made them skinnier. Like they put them on a diet, which is so sad. I miss my chunky potatoes. But the chunky potatoes will live on in the V1s that are still here and sacred. Very sacred. I'm hoping to get some good cross coats, so fingers crossed that we get some really good cross coats and we can start breeding Clydes to get nice coats on them. Also, another random comment about the new Clydesdale's body, I feel like the mane and the tail, they're very like different and odd, especially the tail. The tail like sits very low and it's just like, ooh, I don't know. I don't really like it. I miss like the tail being up high. So let's get to breathing. We're gonna do cookie and let's go find cookie's mare. Wait, why isn't it doing the little thing? Like, shouldn't it? Like, wait, what am I missing? Because it's not doing the thing. Like, I might put the other thing in there. Let me, like, find some, like, random horse. Is, like, why is it not doing. Oh, I didn't buy the flint vouchers yet. Yeah, I was supposed to do that. I forgot. Okay, let's get the 25 flint vouchers real quick. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot the most important step. I need to get those in order to do that in the first place. Oh my goodness. Okay, and now the fooling saga may begin. So let's get up our first match and do this thing. We have tw 25, 15. I honestly, I don't count anymore. Oh yeah, it's 25. So let's do this. I'm actually very excited. I hope I get these coats onto the Clyde. I want to get some of the legacy coats on the Clyde. So, for the legacy coats I have, I have the original brown Clydesdale coat. I have the blue rum pinto, which is on the paint. I actually, I wasn't able to get it until a while ago when I traded someone. Because I had to paint with that coat forever and I failed to get it off. This is random. This has nothing to do with it. I'm going to stop talking now. Because before I get onto a spiral. Oh my goodness. What I'll probably do is, like, any Clydesdales I get that I think are, like, wins, I'm probably going to, like, grow them up and all that. So, really, like, I don't know if you guys want me to, like, make pulls on, like, which ones you think are, like, wins or loss. So, I'll probably do is, like, make an original pull that says, like, do you want to give your opinion on if the Clydes were a win or not? And then the Clydes that I think are wins, I'm going to take pictures of them and make pulls to see if you think they are a win or not. And so far, all we had are losses. I really am looking for cross quotes. I mean, I could probably profit off of the normal Clydes just due to how crazy insane people are, like, overcharging them. Like, I'm not going to overcharge them. I'm probably going to put them for, like, a prize, like, maybe, like, 3K because I feel like 3K would be good enough because, like, that's what they are in the markets. Okay, last one, I'm going to play Fruit Fully and then I'm going to speed up to wins. And, yeah, I'm going to speed up till we get to parts where I think they are wins. Okay, so let's see. Our next full... Um, what is it? Oh, okay, okay. So we got the original Clyde coat onto one of the new Clydes. I don't know if I'm going to grow this one up yet. I probably won't. 
Maybe I'll make like another video just like showcasing like the different cults on Clyde's. But that's really cool. We have one of the OGs on the Clyde now. So let's read some more. And I hope we get some more wins. Because I feel like for me personally that that is a win. Okay, so let's read the next one. Let's do the Fjord with the Clyde again. And is this one a win? Let's see. Oh, um, I mean, it's a cross coat. Not the correct breed and not the correct coat. But I don't know. Like, maybe that's a win. Like, because I feel like that would probably look really cute on a Clyde. Not Clyde. Oh, my God. Fjord. I think that would probably look really cute on a Fjord. But I don't know. And we got another loss. Yeah, I'm probably going to end up having to speed up for a while because they do not like it when I win today. I'm probably gonna have so many loses today, honestly. Let's see. Oh, okay, okay. We got another legacy coat. This is the legacy Frisian coat. And we have it on a Clyde. So I feel like that's gonna look really pretty. And I'll probably have to dye its hair Palomino. So it looks nice. But I think I'm gonna rename them to W. So I don't lose them in the inventory. So let's change the other Clyde sales name to a W real quick. And then we'll do the Fjord. Because, like, I don't know if Fjord's a W or not yet. But let's just give it the W just in case. So let's put that in W. And it's it's tags. Um, let me try that again. W, enter. And it's still tags. Well, you know what we could do? We could probably do, like, hashtag W. Hashtag win. Okay, I know that might sound crazy, but yes. Hashtag W. Let's do that. And it's... Still tags. Okay, is the game trying to tell me that I lost? I, I think the game's trying to tell me that I lost. But you know what, game? That's a win for me. So I think what I'm going to do now is probably catch some horses, sell them, grow up some of my horses, so then I could breed them. So it is time to speed up the things real quick. Okay, so we have our tokens now, and let's buy the growth potions. I think I'm going to do the max amount, like probably just buy three of them. So then I can grow up the one I want to be an adult for now. And then if we have any other like W's and I want to breed them right away, I can grow them up as well. So let's do this one first. Because honestly, I think I'm going to love the Palomino Painto. I feel like that will look so adorable as a glide. And like I think... I'm gonna make another video, maybe like a short, where like I like show them all nice and I think they're gonna like style the hair. I don't know if I'm gonna make tag sets for them because I don't know if they're gonna be that main. Oh my god, look at it. It is beautiful. Let's dye its mane and tail real quick. I don't know why it's a thing with me. I have to like dye the mane and tail so it looks perfect and matches with the coat. And like I know like another thing, like I know like mismatches are rare, but for me personally, like, it would just drive me insane. <laughs> like, I could never. I, like, have to, like, dye the one hair piece so it matches, like, the other. Now that we have that, let me try to get the original Palomino Dapple onto this Clyde. Because I feel like that looked really pretty, too. So, let's see. Is it a win? Is it a loss? Did I just lose something right there? Let's see. And, uh, I mean, it's a win. I mean, I would take that as a win. I feel like that's really nice. Also, it has Palomino originally as his hair. I don't have to dye it, so I feel like that's really cool. And I'm probably going to do what I've been doing for a couple of videos now. And I just speed it up until I get a win. Okay, I think I'm going to breed Bolt with it. I think Bolt will look good. I don't know what the chances are of getting still grow in the Clydesdale, though. So, um, I don't know. Uh, let's just do it. Because, like, it's not common, but then again, I don't know. Like, I'm just gonna do it just to see. Oh, so it is. Oh, and it's a Clyde. Yes! Okay, so we have another win here. <laughs> I guess I really did not have to fast forward. Oh, that's a weird transition now. So, <laughs> we have the uh, back to back wins. I've honestly. Oh, I feel like it's really pretty. And I'm not like, I love it. I love, like, the Clydesdale remodels. At first, I didn't really like them. But, like, I feel like they look more, like, stylish. I still love my chunky potatoes. 
Like, trust me, I really do. But I feel like these ones, like, look more, like, intricate and look more, like, classy, if that makes sense. Okay, y'all already know the drill. I'm going to fast forward until I get a win. How many tries is it going to take to get a blue ground on a Clyde? Oh! Okay, so we got steel gray on a fjord. That's actually new, and I'll take that. I feel like that's sort of like a win. I, like, I, like, I wonder what it looks like, though. That's really interesting. Next Clyde or Fjord. It's a Fjord. Oh, come on. Okay, so that was the last of our fooling vouchers. This is the 25 fools. I feel like we did have some wins. I'll definitely take those. And looks like we already have a trade. Um, I They say nice horse. I don't know that was to me. I didn't really know who they're talking to. So I'm going to type, what are you offering for? Because I don't know what they saw or anything. There's a Fjord horse. Oh, it's a Lazy Leopard. Okay. I'll take that. Because like, that's actually one of the horses. The quotes I was trying to get on another horse be before his lit. Oh my god, I can't speak. I'm just so like, oh my goodness. So, what do they want? Do you have any Clydes? Yeah, I have a Clyde. Uh, yeah, I'll put a Clyde. Yeah. Let me figure out what Clyde. Because, like, the thing is, like, I really wanted that coat on a different horse. I have an Appaloosa with that coat called Blueberry. And I really wanted to get that coat. So, that's awesome. Let me put this Clydesdale full in to see if they accept. Because if they do like that, that is awesome. I will finally have Blueberry's coat. Oh, my gosh. Like, this will be amazing. I'm actually like, you know, if I get this horse, I'm going to dip it, like, I can dip it or dove it. I, I don't know how to use the words. Oh, my goodness. I am going to make it Blueberry's unofficial child. Yes. Okay. Yes. Is it a V2? So, yes, it is. And thank you. Oh, my goodness. So, I feel like we're already getting good trades. So, like, that is awesome. Let's go check it out real quick. I feel like it's going to look so cute when it's adult and it's chubby. It was really... Fjords are the only ones that have, like, the derp-looking face left because the Clydes are now V1s. The Frisians are V1s. And really, I really hope they do not remodel Fjords because that'd be so sad because they're the only ones that have the chubby derp faces left. So let's hope they stay derp forever. Okay, so um, I was looking for you. I just want to make sure I have all my wins locked before I go on my island because I think what I'm going to do is probably sell some because i'm looking a little bit broke right now with the uh, 184 so if we could sell some of them i feel like that'd be really nice because well you see i'm broke i need money i'm probably gonna sell the clydes because that's probably what i could get right now the fjords i'm probably gonna keep them and trade them off for a different like legacy coats i feel like that would work out pretty well let me do one last full sweep from inventory. Make sure I have the ones that I want locked. Um, I hope. Let me see. Uh, Arabian, Frisian. I don't know if I'm gonna lock that. I think we already have enough. Yeah, I think I'm good. Let's just head over to my island. So I'll probably put them up for like. 3k each i feel like that's reasonable because they're still very new they're fools so you have like no cool down you can breathe them immediately you just have to pay like 1k to get them adult but still no cool down i feel like that's probably good but actually wait let's let me just check out volcano real quick because like I'm sorry, I didn't explain it before, but I'm going to try a volcano because I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be, like, two rare horses here. I believe it was two rare horses. Because, like, earlier when I was catching horses in the chat, I said two rare horses on a volcano, two on desert. And I just want to make sure that none of them are Clyde Sales, because I swear if they are Clyde Sales, I'm going to be furious. So, here's a perch. And back there is a black Rabagano Arabian. I have both of those. So we can skip on that, and I think I'm going to check out Desert. I don't know if Desert's going to be good or not, so I might just skip that entirely. I know I'm getting a little bit off track, and I just realized this is pointless because I have no tokens to buy horses with, but I really just want to see what it's like. 
because this is just for my own little entertainment, I guess. <laughs> I'm going to islands when I'm broke and I cannot buy any horses. I just get to look at them. It's like window shopping in a way. You just get to look and see what there is. And the rare horses aren't really anything. Okay, so I'm not missing out. It's good that we broke because there are nothing good here. So let's head over to my island and we can probably get to selling the Clyde Fools, which I really hope I get to make some profit off of those because that would be very nice. I would like some money. So once I put them up, I am probably going to speed this until I get some sales or like when like someone's buying the horses. So then you don't have to sit there waiting while I'm waiting. Let me just close my stand real quick and collect my horse and put the next Clyde on for sort of sale. I feel I'm going to start out with the Black Divino, make it 3k because I feel like that's reasonable without how much like they're demanding at least I'm not putting it for like 10k because that would be insane like I've been seeing that some people like demand like events and just very rare horses for them like someone to try to get Valentine's Day Frisian it was just insane I honestly like I didn't overpay that badly for cookie I overpaid like, it was like a, one event horse and one special breeding unique horse so, I mean, it wasn't that bad. So, I'll take that. Okay, put it in the chat, and I'll probably, like, just speed it up now for y'all. Okay, and we have someone that wants to buy the Steel Gray Clydesdale for the 3K. So, it looks promising. That's pretty good. <laughs> I just realized how messed up it is. I'm making Cookie watch all of his children get sold off. <laughs> this is messed up. <laughs> okay, Cookie, say goodbye to your child. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no, okay, so they might buy the other child. So, it looks like this person really wants Cookie's children. So, Cookie, be ready to say goodbye. Your one child is already gone. Let's go get rid of your other child. I feel like I'm enjoying this more than I should. I mean, I'm getting money out of it, okay? Cookie just needs to be fine with that. Also, thank you, Chloe, for buying all these Clydes. This is really nice, and I like to get the money. So thank you very much for the money. <laughs> After this, I might put up another Steel Gray Clydesdale. So, oh, there we go. More money. We are at 6K. So let me just get the next one set up. I feel I'm going to do that one. Yep. Put it up for 3K. And confirm. Yes. She said thank you. Oh, are th we have any others? Yes. Okay, so it looks like we got someone that wants another one. This is, oh, wait, so this would be 9K. Oh, oh wait, someone that put the private chat, it's the same person. Okay, so I was just responding to them in the public chat, okay. I just didn't know what we missed. She said, I love collecting these from her friends. Oh, that's nice. Looks like your friends will be very happy, and I will be very happy with this money as well. <laughs> Thank you for the money. I very much like this. And she said, feels like, I think, yeah, feels like what? Let me just finish putting this up. Wait, so, nine k. Okay. Plus 3k, 12k, 12k, nice. Oh, it feels like Christmas to them, LOL. Oh, that's nice, yeah. Okay, so someone's trying to trade me right now. Uh, we're gonna have to wait till this is over because I want to make sure I get all these bids through and get this gorgeous money. I love money. Yeah, that's probably a bad thing. But then again, money makes the world go round, so... I should probably stop talking about money and just focus on the Clydesdales more. And so far, we, this will make the fourth child that we have sold. Cookie, say goodbye to your final child of the day. Because I don't think I'm going to put another fool up. Well, no, I might actually trade one of the adults away. So, Cookie, <laughs> get ready to say goodbye to more children. I'll probably put this up for the same price, too. 3K. I feel like 3K is reasonable enough and good enough. So let's get this up there, and then after this, I'll address the person. Let's see. What do they want? Oh, what did they say? Uh, they said okay, thanks. All right. So let's see what the person in purple wants. What do they want? Um, let's see. 
Um, let me just get my inventory real quick ready. So I'm unlocking some stuff. Real quick. Um, is there anything else I need to unlock? No. Mm, I don't know. It's like a story of it in a long time. I'm just like check my inventory to see if there's anything else I want to sell. And let me see what this person wants. Oh, wait. Someone put a bed on something. The bell boots. Let me find them. Oh, I gotta get lost in my market. Okay, over here. Except the grand bed. Because you always have to go accept beds before a person leaves your server. Because once they leave, it's invalid and you do not get your money. So I had to make sure I accept it. Oh my goodness, I can't stop talking about money. Oh my gosh, I gotta stop. I just realized Cookie is hungry, so let me give Cookie some food. Oh, I said, can I offer a horse for it? Yeah, you can offer a horse. Sure, yeah, you can definitely do that. So let me take down the stand. Oh, I'm tired. Okay, so let's see. What does this person want for the Clydesdale? Let's take a look at their offer. Before I look at the offer, though, let me just get the Clydesdale in the trade. I believe it's this one. Oh, I like this trade so far. Let me just check this out. So we got a double gray overall. Very glad. Gray and not the greatest, but I'll take that. Bait to be in a perch on. Nice. And a bait Clydesdale. I think that's the new one. And also the base to be on the perch on. That might be the new Clydesdale cut as well. But I like both of those. I will definitely take that. Thank you for doing business. And I think this will be it for selling and trading on my island. I think after this, I will go over to mainland and try to get some more stuff. Also, I always put a thank you after doing a trade. Just like common courtesy, I guess. So let me head over to mainland and see what's all going on there. Like, the only thing is I'm hoping to get, uh, I think it's the seal brown or brown seal coat that the Clydesdales have. I feel like it looks really cute. And I want it. It reminds me of like, the city buckskin, but with white socks. I feel like those look really cute. And I feel like that is all I really want more. So let me try to like trade a steel gray Clydesdale. I would like to be able to grow a Clydesdale. Like one of those Clydesdales. Probably steel gray because I have a few of those to go around. So let me get this ready in chat. Trading this steel gray Clydesdale. Wait, how do you spell Clydesdale again? I always mix it up. Clydesdale. Wait, someone's saying something in chat. Let me check it out. It says, wait, tags, I offer. Oh, I think they're trying to offer for Cookie. Cookie is NFT, but I got a steel gray. So maybe they'll take that. So if I give you this Clydesdale, will you give me that one? Oh, wait, I just realized it's a brown seal. That's exactly what I was looking for. I didn't even get to finish typing. But... I cookie's not for trade. Cookie is the father of all my Clyde's fools, so I'm not gonna trade him. So let me see. Yeah, I put in my steel gray to see if there's anything. I think the trade's welfare, like because like brown seal is the most common coat you can get on the Clyde, and the steel gray is a unique breeding coat that's very rare. They say nah. Why nah? Can people just say no? Thank you. But why? Is it okay? Yes. Oh well, I'll find another one, I guess. So let me put in the chat looking for a seal brown Clyde. I think <laughs> I always like have to like get checked just to make sure. So looking for a seal brown Clyde. Wait, why? Why is it? I don't like spooky horses. It's. It's not a Halloween event, and it's not spooky. It's just a steel gray. It's a unique coat, not an event. Do they think it's a Halloween event? Is that why they said no? Or, wait, why would they say it's spooky? It's not scary at all. Like, it's not a scary horse. Like, why would they be scared of a coat? I don't get it. Wait, why? that doesn't make sense. Like, why would you be scared of a coat? It's not scary co. It's just a steel gray. Or wait, wait. I thought they mean the personality. Oh, they don't like the spooky personality. Oh, never mind. That was uh, my bad. I didn't realize what they were meant. They were saying it's spooky. They were talking about the personality. They weren't saying that they're scared of it. Okay, that just makes sense now. That's kind of funny, honestly. Oh, look at that person with the big perch on. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, that's, that's cool. 
And, oh, they brought a Lexi coat. Lexi coat, Clyde, that's really cool. So let me just pull out my steel gray so I can trade it. That's a cool Palmeo Painto. That's cool. Oh, that's the right reindeer. Yeah. So let me go trade this and stand here. And why why are they slowing? Oh, they're trying to flex on me. Huh. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, now you're trying to speed up away from me. Yeah. See, people, don't flex on people. You really, flexing is just not a good thing. So, also, if someone flexes on you, just flex back on them. See? Just humble them. And oh, look, <laughs> now they go running. Yeah. Don't flex on people. It's just not nice. So, also, just remember, people, when people flex on you, you flex back. For anyone out there, Cinnamon tells you when people flex on you, you flex back on them and they will leave you alone. So, that is always what works out. <laughs> Also, I see someone with a brown seal, so I'm going to try to offer for it. Is your brown seal Clyde for trade? I have this steel gray Clyde. Yeah, like steel gray for that one. Can I, will that work? Oh, right there on me. Can I see your offer? That is the offer. Silver Clyde is the offer. Let's see if they accept it or not. I mean, if I don't get a brown seal today, like, that's totally fine. Like, I'm fine with waiting. So, oh, say, so, say, oh, no, thank you. Okay, that's fine. I'm fine with that. So, let's see. Anyone else that has things for trade? Oh, my gosh. It's the Fawn Clyde. Okay, so I saw Fawn Clyde in one of my early videos. You might have watched it when I was reading the last of my Clydes. So, wait, I think I'm going to do the 100% Thoroughbred. So, let's see if they'll take that. Because, honestly, I feel like the Fawn Clydes are always the cutest ones. And I always, like, want them. So, let's see. Hello. Would you take a 100% pure... Uh, should I put Lavender Storm? Or should I just put... Yeah, Lavender Storm TB for the Fawn Clyde. I really hope they say yes, because I feel like the Chunky Potato Fawn is really cute, and I would just love it. And if they say no, I can always add. Like, honestly, this is, like, something like, I'm willing to overpay for, and I'll just add a bunch of stuff in. Like, like there's some horses, like, I will just do everything. They said, hmm, okay, so let's see. If they want to see it, totally fine, I'll take it out. I just, I want the Clyde. I will do anything for the Clyde. I'll probably make a tax set. <gasps> you know what? This will be May's horse. May's horse will be the Fawn Clyde. So, there will be an episode. The second episode of the tax set series will be a Fawn Clyde, if I get this. Which, <laughs> uh, I can probably pull this off. Probably. It's like, I have a lot of stuff in my inventory, and honestly, I can lose a couple horses, like, whatever it takes, I will get it. I promise you this. I will get that Fawn Clyde, and it will be mine by the end of this episode. Well, not episode, end of this video. But it will be mine, mark my words. And if not, well, every villain needs their origin story. I will literally become a villain if I do not get this horse. I think they're checking out its stats right now. So, let's see. I mean, it's good. It's 100% pure. Let's check out their thing. You can't see if it's pure or not. Uh, it's max and some things. Yeah, I'll take that for sure. So, oh, she said, no, thank you. Sorry, but I have a uh, tag tags on my island. Can't trade for it. Yeah, I'm not doing anything but the fun Clyde for it. So, it looks like I'm going to have to add, which honestly, I'm fine with that. I can get a little bit aggressive when adding. Like, by aggressive, mean like I will just pour my whole entire inventory into it. So let's put in the chat. I'm sorry, but I'm not in the market for that. Because they, they said, like, winter 122, Andy, and I'm not really a fan of it. So let me put that. So I'm not in the market for that. Is there anything I could add with the Thebe for the Fawn Clyde? Because I love it and I need it. And I don't add the I love it and I need it part because, well, yeah. Anyway, let's see. See, I really want that fun glide, and I will add. So I'm probably gonna have to unlock some things here. I'll probably unlock unique codes, events. Like I am going all in, 
it's like a poker game or like a, I think it's a poker game where you put all the chips in. Yeah, I'm putting all the chips in. I'm going home with a win. Cinnamon does not bite down. This is a, hmm, what else do you have? I will show you everything I have. So I'm probably going to speed up like the part where I like, unlock everything. So let me just tell her, let me unlock some stuff and show you. So yeah, I'm probably going to speed up this part because it's going to take a while. And it's go time. So let's see. Okay, trade me now. And I'll probably trade them. I'll probably speed up me adding everything. Or maybe not. I mean, you guys can see what I add. So let me go down first and just add stuff at the end. I'll tell you the end while well, all I added. I added a quite a lot. I'm pretty, yeah. So I added like a Monarch Purge, a Valentine's Day paint. I added, I think, uh, a paint. No, not paint. It was a fawn paint. So we added a bunch, including the 100% purebred. We added some like legacy stuff. Really, like, I just went full in. I really just traded a bunch in this. And if you guys want to like slow down to see what I put in, to see what I traded for my Fawn Clyde, you can. Well, well, it's not mine yet, but it's going to be mine. It is going to be mine. Okay, so let's see would this work. I'm hoping this works because I'm willing to do everything for this. It's 70% pure. I mean, not the greatest, but I will take it. So let's see. She said, wow. I mean, yeah, I kind of do go all in. So, <laughs> yeah. So this is the cinnamon offer way. Cinnamon either goes big or go home. So, yeah. She said all of that. Yes. I hope that means a good thing. Yeah, all of that. Let's see. She said, you sure? Oh, definitely. This is small for me. Yep. It's nothing, really. I mean, yeah, it is really nothing. I mean, my inventory is pretty big. So, yeah. She said, you sure? Yeah. She said, okay. So, yes, let's do this thing. See? I just go all out. She said, thank you. And I said, thank you so much. I know I'm overpaying. I'm fine with that. I am just... Very aggressive when it comes to trade. And yes, enjoy. <laughs> yes. You're mine now. <laughs> I swear, I am literally a hoarder. Like, I just hoard everything. <laughs> so yeah, this is mine now. And I have two event Clydes. I have this, and I have my Snowflake Clyde. Which, honestly, I love it. Another chunky potato for the collection. I love this so, so much. Look at its white socks. Look at the pattern on its back. Let's max it out. Honestly, I mostly like, like to train them up so I get the trains receipts, but I'm maxing this thing. Let's do it. To infinity and beyond. Let's go. So, let's see. Yeah, let's max it. Max it. Max it. Max it. Max it. Yes. It is all powerful. So, let's go. I think I'm going to change the personality. Look at it. It's spooky. I don't like that. I can't deal with that. I don't have any patience for that. We are making this thing clingy. It is going to be clingy to me. It is going to love me. So, yes. And also, once I find out what this thing's favorite food is, I am going to make an offering table of that. I swear, I treat these horses better than I treat myself. Okay, let's buy the personality potion and make this forever clingy to me. It will love me. And you know what? After I make it a uh, tag, I'm probably going to the episode for May when I make this a tag set. And then after I finish complete the tag set, I'm probably going to host a little party for it. I'm just going to release all my favorite children into the pen and then just let them all run around with this horse. I am going to literally celebrate it because it is my new child. Yes. I swear, it's like this meme. Like, if someone asks me, how much do you love this Clyde? My answer will be yes. So, real quick, let me change the age to newest. To show, like, all my wins for today. Wait, I just realized this isn't going to work out. By newest, it shows me the age. And, of course, this is going to be older. So, yeah, it's uh, it's going to be... Wait, wait, what's his birthday? Let me see. Wait, I forgot what his birthday was. I'll have to look at that later. You know what? 
For the tag episode, I'll go over all the details, and by then I'll probably have its favorite food unlocked because I will feed it everything. Okay, so I think we're getting close to the end of the video because we bred a bunch of the new Clydesdales, we got some cloth coats, we did some trading, we did some sailing, we made Cookie Watch's children go away, so <laughs> I'm evil for that. I will forever remember that. That's kind of funny, but evil at the same time. So yeah, this is it. And I thank you all for watching and being here so far. And yeah, I hope you all have a good day. Bye!